What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is episode seven, I'm pretty sure, of Undisputed Career Mode. I'll see everybody right before the fight when we're picking our opponent. Last time out, we had a true test, and now it looks like we will be tested once again. I'm looking to face this opponent right here, Patrick Rookall. I'm not sure exactly what he's gonna bring, but the German fighter I know has a monstrous uppercut, decent conditioning, decent speed, and I feel like we have a good chance of going out here and getting this victory. It's a fighter that definitely is a challenge for us and it's a fighter that I need to fight against. I'm going to look for a purse split of 50-50. I want the most amount of weeks to train. Fighter insurance, of course. And let's go fight at Santiago. I want to fight outside and I want to have a good time. All right, everybody, the fight is made. Lucas Dimitri versus Patrick Rookall. I'll see everybody in the first week of training camp. And we are here at Santiago's gym. Of course, we're fighting here, so it only makes sense to come down early to Brazil and get those training reps in. Two-time XP bonus, something that you definitely want to have at least two times three times but here we are the punch bag i think i'm just gonna get my power up just gonna get my power up we're gonna do a little bit of a recovery get those legs back underneath us and i'm thinking we're gonna go for our stamina as well as our speed bag to get that punch speed up to 70. now it's week seven and i almost went in there and did another training drill thankfully i caught it right before the fight and we can get some recovery in 100 charged up fight ready and we are on weight i'll see everybody out there right before this fight when it's about to go down and it is that time lucas dimitri versus patrick rookall i'm not sure what to expect going into it but he has five knockouts that 86 overall uppercut is scaring me right now he's got gold trunks coming out looking flashy and i'm really not sure what to expect going into this fight let's go I'm feeling good. Let's work that jab and that left hand already coming in hot. That's what I want to see. My inside fighting skill actually is going to be up. I got a new coach, which allows my inside fighting to be dominant. 10% more damage on the inside and 10% less damage taken. So I'm really going to have to start fighting a different type of fight here. I was a bit of an outside jab style, but I said, forget about it. Let's get right in here and put some work on this man. Delivering liver punches and liver damage. Way to move that head and he's tired already. Look at him. Oh, and he ties up, of course. No surprise. And I apologize for my mouse on the screen. I'm gonna make sure that's gone by the end of this round. I just can't, just can't stop right now and, you know, change it up at the moment or else I'll probably get knocked out by this dude. There's that uppercut he's throwing, of course. Good slip. And I gotta be right in here if I really want that power upgrade. There it is. Overhand just missing him. A beautiful right hook would have landed and took his lights out. This fight, though, is hot today. I'm not gonna lie. Recall is an opponent that I've been wanting to fight, and they've been throwing up to me. i just been a little nervous to get in here against them because my overall really isn't the highest, of course. And he goes for that uppercut once again, man. He keeps throwing that uppercut, and he keeps slipping my punches as well. Beautiful combination. And a good slip. Looking for a right hand, but he slips mine. I got to stay on the inside and make sure that we can keep fighting here. I mean, I'm not really an inside fighter, so maybe it isn't the, the greatest ability to have. But I do know that we'll have 40% more damage on the liver shots once we get our coach affinity up. And me personally, that's really what I'm looking to do. Damage the body and make sure that these fighters won't be here in the later rounds. Good slip. Oh! Good body punch as well. I'm moving up on Patrick Rookall now. Looking for the knockout. and He's looking for one of his own. He's quick on the block as well. And a good clinch here. A crazy clinch, though, by Recall, And no surprise. And we are back. The first round was not the greatest for us. But we are here getting ready for the second now. Oh, my gosh, bro. He's putting good damage on me. Keep moving. Keep moving. That uppercut. I'm not sure if it's a lead one or a rear uppercut. But we're going to have to be very ready for any punch that comes in. It could be an uppercut to the body as well. We never really know with those abilities. Good combination. Three-piece and a good block to the body. Oh, and he's... Firing back with a three. This is what I'm talking about. Lucas Dimitri is on his P's and Q's. And of course, a horrible clinch ruins the momentum by Patrick Rocall. There we go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Looking for the combinations, but I'm going to have to keep my guard up. Good punch. The counter style from Lucas Dimitri today is paying off. No way. What? That little slow punch did some damage to me. All right. We'll see. Oh! Oh my goodness, Recall got me on the ropes! And of course, dropped down in the second round by Recall. A monstrous body hook clips me with no issues. That's not what you want to see, especially in a fight for your life. I should get up though pretty quick in this one. And there we go, up at seven. Not that fast, and I definitely don't want to get dropped again. My stamina's probably going to be shot, and we'll find out if I'm still on the ropes coming out. I'm not, good. Okay, maybe fighting on the inside with this guy is not the greatest, but I got a game plan now. I'm not going to start on the inside, but I'm going to work my way to the inside and get out quick. 
There it is. Beautiful left hook. Catches him on the jaw. Not expecting anything that he just saw. Let's go right at it, though. Good body hook. Looking for it again. And of course, Recall is gonna clinch. What's going on with this clinch? I could not tell you. They need to take this out of the game, honestly. It just doesn't make sense. I can't deny the clinch, and I sure as hell can't get about the clinch when I'm in it, unless they allow you to get about. So I don't know if it's like a clinch control stat or something like that, but they definitely need to improve that feature. Oh, my reaches isn't long enough there. Recall is a tall fighter, man. I did not expect to be fighting a guy this tall, or at least his reach is longer than mine. That's what it seems like. Can this dude tire out? There we go. Good combination. Oh, I'm tired too. Get them hands up, Luke. Get them hands up. My head health is super low. I'm gonna stay on the back foot now. Really use that jab if I can. And then I'm gonna dart in to the body, work the inside, and get out. That's my game plan right now. Let's work that jab, left hand. Maybe he'll, there it is, beautiful. Yep, he's moving around though. He's getting ready for my jab. There we go, good left hand as well. I can drop this dude and get the knockout. I mean, it didn't start too fuego, but we're gonna have to come out here and make sure we can get this victory still. Good slip. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Keep that head off the center line and keep them feet moving. As long as we stay active and stay on our P's and Q's, we're definitely gonna get this victory today. Good jab and a straight now, looking for the body. Wow, cracks me with a strong jab. I'm not sure if this dude's an inside fighter as well, but I mean, he's doing some good damage on the inside to me. And I'm supposed to have 10% less damage taken. There we go. I'm blocking that body. As soon as I go in, I know he's a body type of guy. So we're now we're blocking the face up and a good left hand. Good slip. Beautiful. A little four piece combination. Something to the body to rock him. There it is. Beautiful. Jab to the face. Strong right hand to the body. I think I had that round in the books, but I'm not too sure. Yup, there it is. I had the first and the third round, but he dropped me in a second. I'm not gonna fight scary, but I'm gonna fight cautiously for sure. I don't wanna get dropped again and I don't want to get knocked out. That would be the first loss of Lucas Dimitri's career, and that's not something that you want to see, especially when you're trying to make it to the top undefeated. Become the greatest, of course. Let's step off that center line, though. Good jab and a good left hook. Starting to land these punches now. They're coming in hot, and look at the right side of his face. He has a cut there, of course. He's looking bloody. I'm looking for the knockout. Keep moving that face, Luke. And he's trying to clinch me, too. He tried to crack me with that uppercut, but no surprise, Lucas Dimitri is moving way too fast today. Good left hand. Oh, punch to the body. It's wide open. Oh, wow, but he saw the same thing from me. Beautiful left hook, though. Ah, get back, get back, get back. I'm looking for that liver punch. The right hook to the body will be the liver shot, and there it is. One, two with a liver punch. Beautiful. Let's switch stances, go to the southpaw now, and let's see what we can do here. I'm looking for my own work. Me, personally, I prefer to go southpaw, but I just think that his switch stance stat is not high enough to really put a lot of work in with that switch stance. Beautiful uppercut though. That's what I'm talking about. The jab left hand and then the uppercut comes flying up. And that's one of the strongest punches in the game, in the boxing world as well. That uppercut, if you can land one flush, it could be night, night for your opponent. Beautiful. Oh, trying to use that left hand, but no luck. And look at this clinch. He's choking me, dog. Ref, we need to step in there. That's illegal. There we go. Jab trying to break the guard. And it's gotta be, oh my goodness. He's throwing some good punches now to end that round. And this is the way we want the fight to go. Back and forth but I feel a victory coming on. All right, round five of six, and it's feeling like that time. I'm ready. Looking for the knockout, of course, and here we go. We're moving in, looking for a good finish now. Oh my goodness, he's fighting a good fight, but Lucas Dimitri is not afraid of any man in this ring. Recall the German fighter. We know he has heart, given his heritage, but I'm not going for it. Looking for the jab, looking for the straight punch, beautiful combination, and a good left hand as well. Landing all sorts of punches on the way out and on the way in. Lucas Dimitri now looking for a knockout and it will be one for the history books. A beautiful right hand to the body. Looking for that liver punch again. That punch right now is gonna set him up for failure. I think he can feel it too. He's backing up away from me for sure. And a good right hand looking for a power punch now gets in. Oh, keep them hands up, Luke. Keep them hands up. I like it. Good block. I'm in the pocket with this dude now. You wanna fight in the pocket? Let's fight in the pocket. You wanna fight in the pocket? We'll fight in the pocket, Pat. Recall. Oh, watch my stamina, watch my stamina. We won't fight in the pocket if I'm low on stamina though. I'll tell you that, I'll back up. Wow, flustering three-piece combination. Actually a four-piece and the uppercut ended up landing. Beautiful. Please let me get up off the clinch, please. That's all I ask for is let me off this clinch. Thank you. I'm gonna go southpaw as well. Keep rotating now to my right, away from that power hand. Beautiful combination and there it is. Looking for the jab now, maybe an uppercut if we get in there. There it is, a beautiful uppercut, almost cracks his head back. Another one, looking for the right hook, and there it is, good slip. Oh, 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 oh! What? No way, there is no way he cracked me with that uppercut. I got overzealous, man. Get up! 
Get up. No. No. Knocked out. That is not the type of performance you want to see from the first fight in this episode. Our first loss and our first KO loss too. Not even a decision victory, but a monstrous KO with the uppercut. Mm -mm -mm. I knew it was going to happen. Of course it did. It doesn't matter though. You can still become a champion with one loss. As long as I don't start racking up too many losses, I think I'll be just fine. I hope I can keep prevailing forward though and get this victory in the next fight. If I can't, I'm definitely gonna be questioning my decisions about Lucas Dimitri's career. Even though I feel like I can still become champion, I feel like it won't really be the same as being undefeated, but we're gonna get trained back up and I'll see everybody when it's time to negotiate our next fight. All right, and we are back. Time to select a fighter. And I think maybe George Ortiz is going to be that guy. Jorge, it depends. Quick feet. He has lost the fight though by KO to Rokol. Of course, you see that right there. And he also had a rematch to which he won by split decision with him. This is the fight I'm taking. I'm very confident in my abilities to go out here and get this victory. After that KO loss we took, we're going to be looking to have that rematch against Rokol. For sure, we're going to have that rematch Probably next episode, we're going to bring it to y'all. We can only keep moving forward, and let's get right to the fight camp. I think I'm going to go to St. Andrews just because I want to get more bang for my buck. I was having a good fight. I was putting good punches on that dude, and I expected a much, much better victory than what the result was. Let's look for my stamina regeneration, also my health regeneration. We'll do a little bit of yoga, recovery. We'll do one more training, and then we'll do our last recovery to get ready. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Let's take a quick look, actually, at our stat overview. I want to see before this fight so we can maybe comment down below and see what I got to upgrade. My health, though. Wow. Minus four this fight. Health recovery plus 10. We see stamina 75. Regeneration 60. Stamina recovery is at 80. Now, I didn't really train my agility, but I did train my defense. And we see very, very, very low defensive stats. I have to really work on this going forward. My punch power, not the greatest either. But, I mean, I got to just keep fighting. If I want to keep winning straight up. So I'll see everybody out there with the victory, hopefully in this match. And when this glove tap is about to happen, it's that time here again at the seven Hills boxing venue. I'm not sure what to expect going against Jorge Ortiz, the Mexican fighter with 17 losses on his record. I'm hoping for a good fight today and I want a knockout All victory. Right, He's a shorter fighter. So my inside fighting might not be the greatest idea to go with today. I hope for a victory, but of course, nothing is certain in this fight. We look for a victory today and if I can keep fighting the way I have to I'll get it I'm gonna go South Paul to probably start off and I'm looking to fluster this guy already I'm not playing any games anymore I gotta start fast and I gotta start physical wow he's good looking for the body hook no luck though liver punch yeah let me stay on the outside with this guy I'm gonna go orthodox as well I'm a little faster in the orthodox stance there we go trying to land that punch now to the face good left hand as well come on press up press up I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight, and I know Jorge Ortiz might not be. That's why I'm really ready to go out here and put the whoop on him. All right, it's the first minute down, and we're looking good in this fight. I think we might have this one so far, but I'm looking to go to the body. That's my main focus this fight. He looks like a little bit of a fighter without a core, so to speak. So we're going to keep looking for that body punch, and I think we're going to start landing him in high octane numbers. I'm going to go in and look for the jab, coming with that right hand. Jab, jab, triple jab it now. And of course, Jorge Ortiz looking for a clinch up. No surprise. Get up off me though, bro. I'm not going for it. I'm really not going for this. Like, see, they clinch you up for at least 12 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Where's the referee to come in and say, yo, yo, break the clinch, break the clinch. Unless that's what he's doing. And I'm just not able to get about the clinch on my own. Looking to work them hands now in a good block. I got to stay out of range, this guy. He's want, he wanted me to come towards him. And I'm not going to do that this fight. You're going to have to come towards me, dog. If you want that knockout. If you want that knockout, you're going to have to come towards me. Come on. I'm not playing any games with this dude. Beautiful combination. I'm looking for the body. I'm looking up top. And of course, my right hand jab is shooting from behind my back. I might switch up my stance to the um, Canelo Alvarez. I like that stance a lot. And this Roy Jones Jr. It just hasn't been, he just hasn't been fighting like he needs to be. You know, my punches sometimes I feel like they aren't landing. But I mean, that could be an accuracy issue. That could just be a skill issue as well. I'm not going to lie. But I'm not horrible at this game. And I know that some of these punches should definitely be landing. Like a jab out the southpaw position, shooting from behind the back. I don't think that happens in Canelo Alvarez's stance. Good left hand, but we cracking each other with punches now, and that's not the result you want to see from an exchange. Good left hand, good slip. Looking for a body punch and no luck. Let's step back. Let's stay on the back foot. A little one-two action. Good slip. Beautiful body punch. I'm going to have to just piece him up from outside. 
Beautiful straight. Come on. You really want that? Ortiz, if you want that, bro, you can get the knockout victory today. Boom. Let's go. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Get in, get out. And I'm not going to go too close, but I'll move forward towards him. There it is. Good jab. Popped him on the chin. Straight to the body. Right to that liver. If he turns his body to the left or to the right, I mean, I'm going to throw that straight. It hits right to the liver, too. Good left hand. Almost knocked his block off. And I'm moving forward for the KO. Let's see if we can get it. Another straight to the body. And it's looking like money so far. He's got to be tired. And so am I. Lucas Dimitri throwing a wild punch. Definitely shouldn't have thrown that one. And now I'm looking to showboat just a tad. Come on, press up. Yep, I like it. I like it. Sometimes you got to showboat. Let them know who you are. After that loss from Lucas Dimitri, he's looking for a knockout victory to bounce back. And I don't know if he'll get it today, but I really hope so. Beautiful combination. Four piece. My head health is horrible. Chin resistance, that's probably going to be my next attribute to upgrade because I feel like I would win a lot more fights. I land a lot more punches at a higher percentage. Oh my goodness, and he lands a monstrous uppercut on me as well. Good slip. Looking for an uppercut now. Ah, come on, Luke. Yo, I'm not fighting the way I need to. I got to step back, use that jab. There it is, beautiful. Looking for the four-piece combination to try and break down that guard, but no luck. My head health is horrible right now. Come on, let it regenerate, let it regenerate. I'm gonna just fight on the outside. That's how I'm gonna win this fight, straight up. Fight on the outside, get the victory, and let's get up out of here. Whoa, whoa. Let's keep them hands up, keep them hands up. He's coming in now. And we on the inside now, let's keep fighting. Yeah, we on the inside, I'm throwing them hooks. I'm looking for the knockout when on the inside, and look at Lucas Dimitri, the myth. But right now, he seems like he's not a legend at all. I'm looking for good punch combinations, but he's blocking pretty well, Jorge Ortiz. Looking for the body straight as well. I'm feeling good, and I think I know what to expect going forward. He's throwing a lot of inside combinations, and when he gets close, I'm going to just use that jab. Fight on the back and use that jab, and that's the way I'm going to win this fight. Might not be the most awesome fight in the world, but when you get knocked out, you have to come out here and get a victory. A strategic win. And that's exactly what I'm looking for today. Good body straight as well to end it off. And a good few punches that I'm throwing, left and the right, ends up landing. And that's the way it should go. All right, it's 30-27 in this fight, and I'm feeling good. Oh, good body straight. Yeah, come towards me. Beautiful jab. We both throwing that jab with fast intentions, but it seems like his punch speed is just a little faster than mine. I know he has 97 agility, 95 punch speed, something crazy. So his jab, it might not be longer, but when he jumps in, it hits me pretty hard. Let me step back. Beautiful. There we go. I like it. I'm going to have to get a lot of my stats up. Maybe I might do another undisputed career mode, just a different weight class and a different style of fighter. I'm thinking about that. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see that as well. There it is. Beautiful left hook moving around now, and I like it. Good jab. He's not coming towards me, and I'm not going to just pressure in. There it is. I mean, I'll go in, but I'm jumping right back out. I'm trying to coax him into a fight. I think it's what he's trying to do to me as well. A good little two-piece combination to the body. Jorge Ortiz, this man is fast and ferocious in the pocket. And I mean, that's not exactly what you want to see when you're fighting a fighter. You know the Mexican fighters, though, they have a great lineage. Canelo Alvarez, the one right now. Julio Cesar Chavez, of course, another great fighter from that descent. But I'm not sure if Jorge Ortiz is going to be that type of fighter in his career. 17 losses already, and I got to keep using this jab. Good left hand as well, and a beautiful counter. Let's go. End of the fourth round in the books, and in the fifth round, I'm looking for this victory. And here we go. Let's go. It's that time. Let's fight for our lives. Good jab, but we're not looking towards it. He's slipping his head back. It's all about being in the range to not get your body hit and being able to slip these punches. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Good combination, little three-piece. I'm going to make sure I'm on the inside now. I'm going to fight him on the inside. I don't think he has that much ability on the inside, me personally. I feel like he might be a, a pressure fighter, so if we can just halt that, we should be good. We fight on the inside right now, too. Against a shorter fighter, not a smart decision, but I want this knockout. And I know I have 10% increase of damage. Oh, my goodness. I don't even think it's worth it, though. I don't even think it's worth it. For the damage we're taking, it definitely isn't worth it. I'm going to keep using that jab, and let's keep getting these victories. That's what I'm looking for. Good jab once again. Oh, way to move his head. Looking for the left hand and a beautiful punch to the face. That's what I'm talking about. Jab to the head. Step back. Step back now once again. There it is, and he could go down. 
Looking for a combination, it needs to be beautiful. Finally, Jorge Ortiz hits that mat. Just what I wanted to see, and he's coming in with flustering speed. Lucas Dimitri, that man is a legend, coming in with flying power and flying punches. The right hook almost took his head off, and we've seen it there once again. Hopefully, Jorge does not get up so I can get this illustrious knockout finish. It's very elusive as well. I mean, we've had so many bouts, so many battles where we could not get it, and here he is up at eight. He might still be drained, so I'm gonna run up on him and maybe get another knockdown. Nope, he's not, but we're gonna fight. With all our might here, I'm on the inside now and I'm looking for the body punches. Beautiful. Look, he's stepping back now. See, that's how you know you got him damaged. Oh! Oh my goodness, keep that guard up. Keep that guard up. A crazy uppercut while I'm talking over the fight here and he clips me. A beautiful combination. It was a block block uppercut. That's what the combination was. <laughs> He completely caught me with that uppercut, and honestly, I'm really not trying to be up in the pocket with this dude anymore. It's the sixth round, and I got something to lose. I got this fight to lose now. I'm in the lead for sure, and I know he's gonna want this victory. I'm gonna go to Southpaw, look to target that body. There it is, beautiful combination. Looking for that jab straight, no luck. Oh my goodness, he's throwing these left hooks like nobody's business. But he's a little tired now. Yo, this man's left hook is ridiculous. He has no power, no momentum. He's just throwing that left hand. And look at him now, showboating on me, taunting me. And I really hope that y'all can't see my mouse in the middle of the screen or y'all didn't notice this whole time, but I completely forgot. Something's going on with my PC for some reason. It wasn't like this in the last up uploads, but I guess my mouse is just now on the screen. So, I mean, this is gonna be a little ghetto. We're gonna have to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all can respect the realness of it. I'm just gonna have to keep it there and keep these fights going, cause I'm not gonna, replay a fight that's pretty much cheating so i lost that fight against recall and i think i'm gonna win this one right here against jorge i'm on the ropes though and a good slip oh don't go in don't go in don't go in don't go in 40 seconds to fight i'm not going towards this dude yo you better come towards me hope everybody's having a great day today maybe i can talk a little bit i'm recording this one on thursday but you're probably gonna get it on i think saturday yeah you're gonna get this fight on saturday so hopefully everybody's having a great weekend had a great week and hopefully y'all have a good Monday when it comes up. Let's go. That's it in the books though. Another great victory for Lucas Dimitri. And that is the way that it must go. I'll see everybody when it's time. Wow, a unanimous decision. I'm actually not gonna skip. I'm probably just gonna let it load up here so we can get this outro going and I can end this video off for everybody that watched. $13,000 earned, 114 fame in seven staff XP. We know exactly what this means for our ranking no updates whatsoever after that knockout loss we had a c overall in this fight a result a damage management a accuracy b defense c offense with an f opponent rank 50 percent fight stamina finish that's another objective in the books all right everybody it's been frank in the square circle with lucas the myth dimitri if you enjoyed drop a like down below just want to say peace out everybody and stay safe y'all